Now this is a standard setup for this drift fishing, especially when you're using a center pin. You can see I've got a intermediate size float and I happen to have it rigged as a slip bobber because I like the idea when I pull on the line to set the hook into the fish that the line goes through the float, that I'm not pulling the, throat, the float through the water. You also notice that I've got staggered split shot and heavier ones are at the top because the water flow is strongest on the surface. And then these last four here are much smaller. Then I've got my swivel that's right here and my lighter fluorocarbon leader. And there's that clear drift, very natural looking. It's a soft beat, so it's actually like a salmon. What I've got is a bobber stop inside there. And then about uh, three and a half inches below, I have about, that's a number size six hook. A lot of guys will use an eight, 10, and even smaller but that's the size that I've decided to put on. So this is a standard rig if you're using one of these beads and especially this soft bead. So let me show you how you actually rig it onto the line because a lot of people have asked me that. Now what I'd like to start off with is a fluorocarbon leader. My choice is suffix. I find that it's very strong and I'm going to take off about uh, three feet so I have a little bit to work with. And most people don't use their teeth but I old school comes to cutting the line. So I've got about a three foot section of low carbon meter. The next thing that I'm going to do is tie on a hook. It's a size six and it's a hook that's very commonly used for steelhead fishing. But what I'm doing, I'm not tying a normal knot. I want the hook to be parallel to the line always. That way it's trailering that bead. So what I've done is make a loop. This is called a perfect snell knot and I'm going to go around about five times towards my hand. That's two, three, four, five. You know what, I'm gonna go seven. I feel like seven today. I'm gonna to hold that, the loops there, take my tag line, tighten it. Now, I don't know if you can see on a close-up, that's called the perfect snell. So there's no loop or anything else. I'm gonna trim it. So the reason I like that, I'll show you, that hook is always gonna lay in that configuration. Okay, it's not going to pivot on the eye, like a knot that you tie just to the eye, because that knot is right to the shaft of the hook. The more you pull on that, the tighter it gets. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add a bobber stop. Now, I've got my hook on there. This is your standard bobber stops. These are rated for four to six pound test, so it's perfect for what I'm using. So, you know that they're like little rubber stops. So, I'm just going to put my line through the loop of the loader and then uh, pull it through so that it's on my line. So there's my bobber stop. So this is the third step. I'm going to take that bobber stop. I'm going to slide it down to about four inches above the hook. So let me just show you here. There's the bobber stop and there's the hook just below it. Next I'm going to put the soft bead on there. Now the soft eggs that I'm using are from Clear Drift. You can see them here in the pack. And these are the glow ones. So they're very bright chartreuse color. There's a single one there. This particular one is the eight millimeter side. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna rig it here. You gotta be careful. So you do need a needle if you wanna do it properly. You could slide it, the egg over the hook, but it's better if you use a needle. And you try to pierce it about the center of the egg. So I'll just show you here. There's the egg. I flatten that mono and I'm going to try to carefully put it inside the eye of the needle and it's in there okay and I'm going to take the egg slide it onto the line careful that you don't lose your needle and now I'm going to take the egg and slide it down the reason we want to use a needle is so that we don't make too big of a gap inside the egg now some anglers will adjust the bobber stop to about three inches above the hook three or four inches and they'll leave the egg like that so, and of course you can adjust the egg. What I like to do is actually put pressure on the bobber stop and push the egg right onto the bobber stop. I'll show you what I mean in a minute here. So you gotta use a little bit of pressure to do this. And it conceals the bobber stop, okay? So the bobber stop is in there and I can move that egg up and down. For my liking, that's a little bit too close. So what I'm gonna do is just take my nail and move the bobber stop and the egg up a little bit to get it about two to three inches up. So there we go. So that's how you rig a clear drift soft bead on, uh, this is a, a fluorocarbon leader 
with about a number six size, so it could go smaller. But for this kind of fishing in the murky water that we have today, it works really great. The beads work especially well in clear water, and that's when you use the clear colors. This is the one that's the glow, which works good in murky water. Hope you get fish.